Why? You done? I, I'm not. I didn't want to start while Doug was deep throwing the mic. Okay. Why? <laughs> you hate fun. You hate fun. It's not so, like it's weird when yeah. someone clicks on a video and the first thing they see is someone deep throwing a microphone. It's not like, weird. It's character. I'll, That's I'll, leave, I'll, leave, it I'll leave it in. The, I'll leave it in the episode. Oh, I'll leave it in. All right. Welcome everybody to episode 18 of the Looks Like a Movie podcast. My name's Kevin. I'm here with Doug and Owen. Today we're going to be talking about the new Apple TV movie Ghosted, and we're also going to be doing a little draft of movies with actors who have good chemistry with each other. Uh, we'll also cover some news at the end of the episode. As always, share the episode, like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube, follow our Twitter at the link in the description. And before we get into anything else, we can talk about what we watched this past week. Kevin, what did you watch this week? What did I, you watch this week, Kevin? I watched a couple of things. I watched, I, I continued my my Kelly Riker binge, and I gave out my first five star in quite a while now. I think it's probably been like three months or something, um, which was Certain Woman uh my favorite kelly record movie so far i really connected with it it's like uh it's like three separate stories in one movie um and they kind of get better as they go on for me at least i think each story is better than the last um and i thought the most interesting thing was that after i watched it i watched this little like criterion snippet that they had interviewing kelly Riker, and she mentioned that when they were originally planning the movie and writing the script, it wasn't going to be a movie focused specifically on women. And then it just kind of turned into that as they, as they went on. And I thought that was really interesting because there was like a lot of stuff, like the, it made me connect with it in like this weird way where it was like, I could connect with the characters on their own, but then I could also like, just like see women that are important in my life and the characters. So it was like a personal thing, but also like people that I just relate to. Um, so I thought it was really good. And then, I watched Wendy and Lucy, another movie by her, which is just really sad. <laughs> like, it's just depressing as fuck. Um, and it's like a sad dog movie. So um, it's, sad it's obviously dog movie. Me, Yeah, it's like one of those movies that has a dog and then you get all sad over it. Like, and, like Marley uh, and Me. Yeah, kind of. But probably, I would say more emotional. Just because Not as more, good. Um, it doesn't, <laughs> have more, it doesn't bring that more Owen Wilson. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's more effective as a movie, which makes it more emotional for me. Um, but yeah, it's it's not the it, it doesn't have the without spoiling Marley and me for anybody who hasn't seen it. It doesn't have the same uh, ending as Marley and me. Um, what else did I watch? I watched a couple of new movies. My favorite was probably Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, which is the um, Judy Bloom really, film. Yeah, really, really sweet movie. Um, Owen loves I, stories about women's periods. Okay. I mean, uh, Kevin. What? <laughs> yeah, why did you say that about Owen? Because uh, um, I, f- I fumbled. I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. that's okay. Um, but no, the the director, it's like her second movie, her first movie, Kelly Freeman Craig. Her first movie was The Edge of 17, which is like a movie that I've always thought was really cute. And this movie is also similarly like just a very sweet movie. It's just like this nice positive movie. It's funny like the whole way through. It's like very grounded in reality both of her movies kind of are in a way that i think is like really cool because most of these like i guess coming of age like teen kind of movies are typically like you know little little bit cringy which is not always a bad thing but this one is just like very real and even the stuff about it that is supposed to be cringy is like a little bit too real for you to cringe at it like it's just silly and fun um so yeah i would recommend that people go see that um those are the big ones and then i watched the whole first season of shrinking on apple tv um so apple tv is just getting a lot of a lot of love this episode i guess but um but yeah shrinking is like surprisingly good it's like questionable at times there's definitely some things in the show that i'm like i don't know if i really agree with this but um but it definitely has like comfort show vibes um until the very ending of the first season it just got the very last scene of the first season is so much darker than the rest of the show. Um, and I just was not expecting it at all, but I'd recommend that as well. If people want to watch some TV stuff. All right, Doug, what'd you watch? I watched, um, raging bull mm-hmm. at the movie theaters. Um, the, the was first first time or rewatch. No, 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 no. I've seen it okay. before um and that is one of the great american movies so that was a good time uh i also watched silent hill 2006 i saw that on 35 millimeter very excited about that 
that was so fucking dope that was some dope ass shit dude that was so sick um i also watched uh let me pull up my litter box like nothing else i watched bows afraid and that's it <laughs> like this <is> here. <laughs> again yeah it's I afraid really again. Bose afraid yeah yeah okay um i watched the uh the velvet underground documentary by todd hayes um last week was just really cool um there's like a lot of cool editing like in that documentary um and then i kind of went on like a kind of warhol thing with um because uh, there's a lou reed screen test uh, from the velvet underground so i watched two of those and and then i watched scorpio rising like kind of anger which is really good um watch some more warhol stuff and last night i watched i topped all the warhol stuff with mad max fury road last night which was yeah. fun um but yeah pretty chill week yeah i was saying i was Nothing hoping you much. would love it but i'll, I'll take a, a i'll take fire a fire movie yeah, yeah I'll take movie. a I'll take a positive <laughs> Owen review where I could get it. I was just hoping it would be like a, a, no a happy good feet, but... a good Owen four star, but we'll take what we could get. Okay, let's uh let's move on to to our movie then. Let's talk a little bit about Ghosted, I guess. Uh, I'll I be very honest with you guys. Bugatti. I I've forgotten a lot of what happens in this movie between Don't when worry, I watched I got you, it I got you, I got you. recording this. But yeah, um, before we start, fun fact: uh, on the day of recording this, today is Ana de Armas's birthday. Um, which I just found <laughs> That's out this morning. Crazy. So we're That's we're recording crazy. this on Ana de Armas's birthday. Um, we did not find out. At all. Shout out. Um, but yeah, this is like the biggest Apple TV movie ever, I guess. Not that it has a whole lot of competition, but um, kind of a big deal for Apple TV, I guess. Um, they said it was their biggest streaming movie ever. And I don't really, I can't even think of another Apple TV original movie. So um, Tetris. Yeah. Oh, Tetris, um, I guess. Yeah, sure. Emancipation. Um, Okay. The point is, they don't have a lot. Of, uh, no, but they're they're, they're happy with this. Though. They're very happy with this movie. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, it's it's doing well. Um, we can, I guess, start with our ratings, all of which are not on the positive end. I gave it one out of five stars. That's crazy. That's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I gave it two stars. It was it wasn't that bad. Um, mm -hmm. I gave it a half star. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't think Absolutely. it's that um, low rating. I gave it a half sore. Like, it's on like the lines of like Free Guy and those like kind of anti-cinema <laughs> kind of movies. Uh, it's um, a it's, it's especially not as bad as it's Dexter not as bad as Free Guy. The movie is so it's, bad. That it's not is as so bad, bad as Free Guy. No, but it's kind of like in that realm of like fake movie as thing. Yeah, I I agree with that. I'm Ryan like, Reynolds I... appears. It's a fake movie. <laughs> oh my god, Ryan Reynolds appearing made me want to kill myself. Oh my yeah, god. but we all knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> like... Oh, we did not know it was gonna happen. Okay, well, um, I knew. I knew when I. I knew when I read that the cameo. movie. I knew when I read that the movie was full of cameos that Ryan Reynolds would be. Dude one. loves the cameo. <laughs> Um, and there's like that scene where there's like four of them in the span of a minute, <laughs> which was just insane. I was like, this is not. It's like when I I'm didn't even think that part was right bad. Now. I didn't think that part was that bad. No, I don't think it's like bad. It just made me laugh. Like it was just silly. It was just silly that it, like, <laughs> that it was just one after the other. Um, <laughs> it was like it was like silly in a in a positive way. Maybe I don't know. I didn't think it was like. Yeah. bad i think the whole movie overall just like <laughs> didn't do anything for me and didn't feel like a real movie um which is fine um i don't know doug what'd you like about it well, well let's be positive first i so i don't like the movie i want to like i okay. feel like well you had to like something or else you would have given it a yeah, star too yeah there, <laughs> there has to be a, something good about there it was some light no, this reminds me. This reminds me of like when we all saw the Ant Man and the Wasp, and I gave it two stars, and I almost like, why are you such a big fan of this movie? <laughs> like, and it's like, hey, I, I'm not saying you're a fan, you're but I'm saying like you have to, you're the biggest you have fan to like something to give it two stars, Number right? One Otherwise, ghost you would fan just give I can it see right now. half a star. <laughs> the only guy. yeah, I think um, you do have the highest review for this movie on my entire letterbox. I'm not gonna lie. Really? Uh, 
That's kind of crazy. I'm almost positive you have the highest rating. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Um, I'm a fan of watching beautiful people <laughs> on my uh, television screen do do uh, beautiful things. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you including Chris uh, Evans in the beautiful people, or just Anna de Armas? <laughs> uh i was including chris ryan evans. reynolds in the <laughs> no i was including chris evans until he got fucking annoying also he okay. is so his character is so not, not no like chris his evans. character is crazy like he's like a farmer that like follows this girl across the world like literally yeah. stalks this girl across the world that's yeah. crazy and also like yeah. Nobody and the like way that the like way like, like his Evans family encourages is it is so <laughs> his family is like, psychotic his family's like yeah you should just follow her to europe like <laughs> you need to do something for yourself that's not like, a, like what do you mean? yeah it's that's very crazy silly. it's um, crazy his, yeah his character is just like a bit of a weirdo and it's so hard to believe that chris evans is just playing like well yeah i think it's a like loser. it's kind of weird <laughs> casting um because it's especially well, like the way he like plays this like kind of helpless little guy yeah exactly and it's just like captain america yeah it's um, captain america but also like <laughs> you people that are people that are that look like chris evans and are like that kind of like fit and like have that much confidence aren't incels like they, they fuck yeah, it's, it's like, you know what yeah. i mean like it's like <laughs> It's just it's like, just like it's just silly from the beginning when you yeah. find out like the type of character that he is and it and it never like it never goes away as the movie goes on. <laughs> like I'm just like I just don't believe that this guy exists at all. Like there's there's never been this person real in real person. life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy does yeah, no. Well, even if this guy does exist, he doesn't look like Chris Evans. Like Yeah. Um yeah, I don't know. Um I don't know if was like fun in it though. I guess I just really don't like Chris Evans. Like it's really hard for me to get behind <laughs> a movie that Chris Evans is the star of. Um, there's been like one Chris Evans led movie that I'm like, oh yeah, I actually really like that, and it's not because of Chris Evans. <laughs> um, there were so, um, man, yeah, like yeah, Snowpiercer, Snowpiercer, yeah. Snowpier yeah, but Snowpiercer I don't like because of Chris Evans. It's just because yeah. I like Snowpiercer. <laughs> um, Snowpiercer like you or. Them. What's it like? Knives Out. One of those are probably his best performance. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I but, like Knives Out too, but that's like again. And Tim's you know. story is Fantastic Four. <laughs> he's good. Wait, he's good in Fantastic Four. Yeah, he's good yeah. in Fantastic oh, Four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think I probably liked him maybe a bit more, more before when he was Captain younger, America. Before, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When he was like like early on in his career, I was like, he, he I could. Yeah. I mean, not that I like really remember it that vividly, but just like looking back at it like this if that's like, you know if i compare that to some percentage revisionism yeah, yeah well i said this uh, <laughs> when i was like oh people um like chris evans and a lot of it has to do with you know they like him as captain america and they like the shitty movies he made before he was captain america he <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah, of fucking yeah. dog shit movies <laughs> yeah. like in the early 2000s yeah um but he's he was likable back then and he's just not now <laughs> <laughs> yeah like that's yeah it's ryan reynolds like it's it's like i'm saying in perspective i'm saying like in perspective of like if you took somebody with like chris evans yeah he got career, he got like hella famous and then he got yeah. worse <laughs> but if you took somebody with like that career like his early movies and like looked at that like individually i'd be like oh that's somebody who i'm excited to see in more movies and then he became captain america and then he went and then he became in more movies and it was yeah like, and i'm like no know. maybe not really. i mean it's yeah. like i don't know yeah like you said like snowpiercer and, and knives out are, are good but i don't really like either of those movies because chris evans he just happens to be the person that got picked yeah. to be in those movies um like if you replace him with like a chris evans type of person i would feel with, like chris the Pratt, place. same way no, you, take <laughs> no, this movie, chris you, you take ghosted take out chris evans put in chris pratt it's like a good movie almost it's, it's a like, half star it's a good bad. movie it's a half star <laughs> instead <laughs> of a one star you put, oh, you put no, chris I'm pratt at, uh, in knocking half a star I'm at chris chris pine. No, okay chris yeah pine put, in. yeah put chris pine in it i'm bumping it up to one and a half stars instead of one star <laughs> yeah put chris pine in it and it's like almost a good or... movie yeah they, okay um, people kept saying that they are clearly on the same set for like most of this movie i don't know where that uh, rumor started i think it has to yeah do with they like are that. they are i think I've, i think it has to do with that um the uh it's the promotional photo which yeah, is just yeah. really fucking badly photoshopped it's um, so funny. i really don't like the, the yeah the like the poster slash promotional photo i'm like it's so bad to look at yeah. 
<laughs> and it's bad that we have to pick it apart just because there's so little to say about the movie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, so and it's one of those things where it's like people kept saying like, oh, Anna Diotimus is on a is on such a cold streak. And it's like, sure, she hasn't been in like great movies recently, but it's like her performances aren't bad. Like this isn't her fault. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, no, I don't know. it's like, movie. It's but the, she no, picks projects really like involved. she's The Rock and she's just trying to be like the famous person. Yeah. And wasn't, yeah, that, well, wasn't that's there the thing. that thing about her and Chris Evans wanting to like do a bunch more movies together? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So she that said that Chris. Cause so Chris Evans is a producer for Ghosted, and she said yeah. that Chris Evans personally reached out to her and asked her to be in the movie. And then she said that as long as Chris Evans keeps asking her to be in his movies, she will keep being in his movies. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a... Well, I, I honestly, I think, I think for Chris Evans, and I think for Anna Armas, and I think for Apple, they're sitting back and saying, "This is a success. Uh, this is mm -hmm. a, this is what we wanted." I mean, this is the yeah, most successful. Two? This is the most successful movie on Apple, and that's what they wanted. You, the, there's this really weird Dexter Fletcher interview where he talks about making the movie and how like they like Apple constructed this like weird Frankenstein baby movie to yeah. get views and get clicks and get people. Yeah, to did watch you see that thing about the beginning of the movie where he yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. he was like, I had a different idea for the beginning of the movie, but they wanted, they didn't want people to click away during the first like well, minute or so whatever. He, yeah, so I had question. to change he it. He talks about in that, in that interview about how um, the numbers for streaming are different and the numbers yeah. you want are most people watch it and the most people who finish the movie, he, he want people to finish the movie. Yeah. So they, they're like, they're engineered movies so that they get these numbers and ghosted got those numbers. So I think they're, they're sitting back very happy without ghosted performed. Yeah. And to be fair, it's like, I mean, that's like the model that I think that's the model that just carries over from people who spend time on the internet because it's like, I won't, I won't ever do it with movies, but when I watch YouTube videos or whatever else on the internet, it's like, I'll start a video and if I'm just not interested, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go watch something else. Um, and I think people probably take the same approach to streaming where it's like, if they're, if their needs aren't met in like the first couple minutes, they're just like, okay, I'll go find a different movie. Um, but it's just crazy that that's how you have to construct the movie. Um, cause movies and a YouTube video are two completely different things. Not completely different. <laughs> okay. okay. What is they're, it? Both, <laughs> they're both visual media. There you go. They're both videos that you're playing on like a screen. You know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> My bad. My bad for, for <laughs> saying that they're different. But it's, it kind of um, goes to say like when people are talking about, oh, Dexter Fletcher, say whatever you want about Rocket Man, but people are like, oh, this is the guy who directed Rocket Man. How did he get to this point? And it is because that's it's just a different like you talking about streaming and theatrical movies are just different making them they're, they're making different movies um, yeah yeah exactly. i heard rocket man was a real movie that's what they it say. is a real movie that's yeah what they say. Um, I, I quite like rocket um, man i um, I, I, I don't remember anything so, about it but um, at least compared to the rhapsody <laughs> I yeah to, that's yeah. well that's the whole thing it's like there's they're they're trying to achieve different goals the streaming with the theatrical movie um, yeah which is interesting to say the least um, yeah um yeah i don't know anything we want to say about ghosted or you guys want to do that we didn't even talk about the movie we literally didn't what even talk about the movie <laughs> what do you want to talk about the movie what do you want to talk about in the movie we could talk about how um they give anna de Armas a weird wig and it makes her look way lighter um like it makes her look like her skin tone it, like they somehow whitewash this light skin <laughs> like uh cuban woman in the movie mm -hmm. it's so bizarre <laughs> yeah i mean it's just one of hundreds of bizarre decisions um or about how like stuff yeah like specific plot stuff that that you wanted to talk about well yeah so like in the movie when uh Sorry. Yeah, sorry. no, uh, that's a good part. I like that. Oh, yeah, no, no, I agree. No, in, the, in the in like the beginning of the movie when Chris Evans gets uh like a by um the guys, right? Um and he gets abducted in London, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next scene we're escaping and we're in like Syria or whatever. Uh that was bizarre. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> or like yeah. or like the end of the movie right when they're it's actually i think this is kind of neat where they're like in the like the top of the the, oh, the restaurant thing, hotel and thing like, and it's like spinning around and yeah. like it's like the action sequence and i'm like oh that's kind of cool but then on a is like on the ground reloading her gun or something and then chris evans <laughs> with an eye patch pops out and is like Dude, Ryan, we Ryan, used Ryan, to have Ryan, sex Ryan. i will never forget you and on is like uh-huh and it's like okay that's weird <laughs> like yeah yeah i i don't even that that whole part was a blur to me i'm not gonna lie that, that whole ending thing where everything was spinning was just a blur to me i don't really know what happened or all of the weird uh licensed music in the movie oh, oh yeah was, the, music that, that so crazy. the music is so bad the music is so bad it was literally a uh now that's what i call music cd but again <laughs> that that feels like this like it goes through the whole kind of engineered kind of movie it's like factory yeah. movie where it's like people know these songs people like these songs Let's put that song in like it was kind song. of the same thing i mean you, i don't you guys didn't watch tetris right but it's it's kind of the same no. thing that they did in tetris <laughs> like it's it's just like they just put a bunch of like popular music over tetris well, yeah, and, i think that's, that's I what someone, apple's doing apple i saw someone is... review tetris and they were like oh this was a great needle drop i'm like uh, they just put a popular song in like one, <laughs> one moment of the movie yeah i, I um <laughs> like... it's, it's like it is those it is those um like oh there's like, plenty of like silly reviews but it is kind of like that ai chat gbt kind of movie where it's yeah like, it feels... it's just like it, it, it it's just popular songs that that fit into the movie because they're yeah. they're popular and could fit into any team um i don't know that part was silly i kind of i kind of liked that just because i was like i could listen to music in the background while i'm not paying no, attention but the music to the movie. was bad they didn't even they didn't play a single good song like it was, that's also what fucking got on my nerves um oh, I, I don't know if i'd call them bad songs i just don't i just think they're they're silly <laughs> i just think they're silly to people in the movie like in the um, middle of the like the climactic uh, action set piece, they just started playing the Beatles, and I was like, "I'm gonna fucking kill myself right now." <laughs> it's like I got I'm gonna look at Ryan Reynolds' face, and they're playing the Beatles, and it's like I just came here to watch Ana de Armas be a spy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a terrible, terrible movie. Yeah, a terrible two star movie at that. Yeah, maybe <laughs> <laughs> two whole stars. Yeah. Two you guys shitting on my ratings oh, is crazy. <laughs> the numbers Ooh. don't matter. The numbers don't matter. No, <laughs> it's two stars for Ana de Armas. Right? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it literally yeah. is. Okay, no, it's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, now, now, do you have anything else you want to talk about, Doug? <laughs> now, do you have anything else about the movie you want to say? Yeah. Yeah. How is your guys' morning going? Uh, um, not. Not the worst. <laughs> Gravy. I think I'm gonna watch Song to Song later today. Feeling oh, Malik. Like, really? I want to see that. I might watch Song to Song later today. Uh, yeah. that has like that's where the infamous, not infamous. That's where the famous like um Natalie Portman at a football game photo comes from. I have so, no idea what you're talking about. Song but, to Song. Uh, I do know. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, real ones know. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't done much today other than get ready to record this podcast. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, and, um, and we've talked about ghosted, so it's like yeah, uh, yeah. What a day, day. Yeah. day. Exactly. What a what a good day. Okay. Let's let's draft some stuff because that let's that'll, draft. That'll actually be fun. Okay. Kevin, I'm gonna what are randomize. we drafting? Okay. Well, first I'm gonna randomize our order because this is, this is what we do. and I'll describe everything. Um, in case you guys think I'm cheating, I got first pick. You're not gonna be. Yeah, able to I can't see, see shit. To be honest, <laughs> I got first pick. Kevin's the first name up. And Owen's okay. the second name up, so Doug gets back to back picks. And I am me, destroying I you guys. I am fucking me, Owen, ripping through. Doug. Okay, so to explain, we're doing a draft of actors who had good chemistry in movies. The rules are that it's not just like specific to romantic chemistry, this is any kind of chemistry between two actors in a movie. And the other rule is that if an actor gets taken, they are not allowed to get drafted in another movie by anybody else. So it, like whatever actor gets taken by the first pick, you can't take them in anything else for the rest of the draft. Um, and that, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going first. Uh, everybody knows what I'm picking. Obviously I'm taking 10 things I hate about you first. Heath Ledger, Julia Stiles. Uh, that's my pick. <laughs> very, very obvious first pick. 
Um, Good thing you took it first. I mean, we were all we were all. I was itching, dude. I was running on the edge of their seat trying to feel some things I hate about you. Um, It's fine. The people watching will will understand that this is the best example of chemistry that's ever existed. Um, And now Heath Ledger's off the board, so no Heath Ledger movies. Oh, I was gonna take him and Christian Bale next. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was gonna take him. I really, uh, I was, I was thinking that when. When we were talking, <laughs> when we were talking about this before the podcast, I was like, I wonder what Doug, I wonder what Heath Ledger movie Doug would take to spite me and like not let me get 10 things I hate about you. And then I was like, there's probably not another one that you would take except for maybe, I guess, like Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, Brokeback um, No, I mean, The Dark Knight. Yeah, or I, yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's a, I just don't think you would take The Dark Knight. <laughs> I just knew you wouldn't take that. I was like, I don't think there's a movie that Doug is going to risk a, a Heath Ledger pick on, so I don't really have any concern. But anyway, um, Owen, you're up. Um, uh, Titanic, uh, Leo and Kate. Was it? Yeah, I kind of really? figured that was going to get taken. Wow. <laughs> I kind of figured that. Okay, was well, taken. I thought I was going to get that because I thought you were going to take something else. Uh, oh, shit, that's crazy. Okay. Um, <laughs> Doug was like, I'm going to kill this, and then he gets his first pick stolen already. <laughs> I can go so many different ways. I because I'm trying there's to think. There's a lot of movies, yeah. There's yeah, a lot, a lot of, of movies. movies there, yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, do I take what I have at the top of my draft board immediately, or do I wait and see if it can come back to me? Because it's um, possible. Here's the thing: all the movies oh. at the top of your list are not going to get taken by me. Um, you're pretty much in a direct competition with Owen, <laughs> so it's really just how it's what really are, just how likely you movies? think. It's really just how likely you think Owen is to take one of these movies from you. Um, okay um, i'm looking at my movies and i'm like you guys are not going to take any of these except for maybe one of them not and none of the actors oh maybe the actors but that's okay i could just take a different movie at that point but okay, okay. um i'm gonna go kind of cr- i'm gonna i'm gonna go kind of crazy okay i'm going to take ben affleck and matt damon yeah um an example would be uh goodwill hunting well, you have to pick and then, movie, yeah. so, so it is. Yeah. So it is a good one. Yeah, good. Um, and then I'm also going to take uh, uh, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. Uh, <laughs> an example, example from a movie. Let's see. Uh, Casino. We'll go with Casino. Okay. I thought when you said Robert De Niro, you were going to take Robert De Niro and Pacino and Heat, but oh, oh, but now De Niro, now De Niro's off the board. So <laughs> yeah, I was think I almost I was thinking about Al Pacino, but I think it's like I think that's maybe an overrated couple. I think that yeah, sure. De Niro well, and Pacino been, is the real couple. You would think they've been in like twenty movies together, but they've only been in what like like three movies together. They yeah, but they've been in four movies together. Whereas De Niro and Pacino, or De Niro and Pesci, have been in like twenty movies together. Yeah. Okay, back back around to you, Alan. So far, uh, so good. Little Women, uh, Chalamet. And okay. Ronan. That actually pisses me off because I <laughs> I had I did have a Saoirse Ronan pick on the list, but that's crazy. That's um, crazy. Who saw yeah, that? That stinks. Coming? That stinks. I, I, I didn't actually think one of my actors was going to get taken, but um, but I could live without the search around the pick. Okay, uh, I'm back to back now. Correct. I'm going to take uh, the best bromance in history on screen: uh, Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze in Point Break. No. And no! Keanu, no! Keanu Reeves is off the board. No! <laughs> Damn, Doug really went into this thinking he had a he had a, a just a clear path to, to the end, and now he's been screwed over twice. <laughs> and neither of me or Owen has been screwed over. So, um, yeah, well, I guess I got, I, got, I got mini screwed over by the yeah by mini the screwed over. Board. But anyway, and then my second of the back to back pick is uh is two actors who I I know nobody is is planning on touching. I don't believe, and that's Paul Mescal and Frankie Corio in After Sun. Okay. Fuck, I really wanted Carrie and Moss and uh, Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> okay, back to back around to Owen. 
Uh, Ethan Hawke and Joey Delphi in Before Sunrise. Bro, that was the next one on my list. <laughs> yeah. I thought that I thought that was gonna go first. I just haven't seen those movies. I thought that was gonna go first overall. Oh man, dude, that was next up on my list. Now I gotta hey, now I gotta listen, go to the movie that's appeasing the TikTok. <laughs> uh, if you were that's smart, amazing. you would have taken it before and not taken the ten things that hate about you first overall. <laughs> um, listen, I'm just having fun, okay? But at, the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm picking the movies I like the most. Uh, because I wanted to get the actors in the movies that I like the most, not specifically because, yeah, you know, I probably could have done before one of the before. Movies I'm playing earlier, the board, man. I'm playing the board. Yeah, no, that's okay. I could, I could, I could pivot. I could pivot, and I will pivot. I could, I okay. could, and I will. I'm going to pick up uh, Maggie Cheung and Tony Leung Chi Wa Wei in um, any I Wong Kar Wai movie. movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Um, Doug, Doug is just not picking specific movies for the whole draft. By the way, he <laughs> no, just because just I, that's not. Not, I didn't think that's what we were doing. I was like, we're picking be. couples. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? No, we were picking <laughs> people. We're picking people in specific. Movies. I have a list of names. I don't have a list of movies. Oh, <laughs> so it's okay. like, yeah, I have a list of names because I was like, oh, they're in several movies where I think they have good chemistry. So that's why I put the names down. Okay. Um, cool. Well, we'll just we'll just pick we'll just pick one later. <laughs> um, okay, you get a second pick. So. Um, and this is the this is we're now yeah. we're now moving into the fourth round. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking. Um. No, yeah, take a time. I I am, pussy boy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take. Believe. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up George Clooney and Brad Pitt from Ocean's Eleven. Okay, there we go, and we got a movie out of that one too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, uh, back back to back to Owen for his fourth uh, pick. Rush Hour Two, Chris Decker and Jackie Chan. Oh, good choice. Okay, um, I get. Oh, these are my last two picks. Okay, damn, this is moving fast. Um, okay, I am gonna take uh two people who I. I think really like each other in real life and I'm pretty sure it, it shows when they're in movies together I'm gonna go dynamic duo of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost and Hot Fuzz oh wow oh wow okay and then with my last pick um now I'm a little bit torn um, because I was going to go Lady Bird here, but Saoirse Ronan is off the board. So I think my Wait, final pick... Who are you going to pick for Lady Bird? What, what two, who are Saoirse gonna Ronan Saoirse? and Laurie Metcalf. Okay, okay. The the daughter-mother chemistry, not, not the... Not the chemistry. Yeah, no, nothing else. But, um, okay, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to pick the movie for the TikTok crowd. We're going to go Miles Teller and JK Simmons and Whiplash. <laughs> oh, what the that's crazy. Not what I was expecting. That's like I, anti. That's crazy. Okay. That's crazy. Anti -chem anti chemistry is still well, chemistry. Yeah, it's I'm, like I'm hating each other. It's still chemistry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wasn't wasn't ever thinking that. Um yeah, I think that'll I I think I needed a pick in there to to make the make the people that are that are watching sway my way a little bit sure um, so yeah sure that's fine sure. that's my last pick all right you guys last picks owen um say what you want about the movie um i take andrew garfield and emma stone and amazing spider-man 2 okay <laughs> oh my god i was gonna take fucking ryan gosling and emma stone this is nasty <laughs> This yeah. is fucked up. Yeah, I was thinking about doing. I I almost thought about doing uh, a Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, but not in La La Land in Crazy Stupid Love, because um, I think their chemistry yeah. is better in that movie. Um, that's fucked up, though. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's fucked up. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna take Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and Eyes Wide Shut. Uh... <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> nice um i actually i'm not gonna lie i looked at that one like when i was looking at like what i could pick i was like i looked at eyes wide shot and then i was like you guys would call me crazy if i picked this one right and then someone ended up picking it and i'm like okay well maybe maybe i could have gotten away with it but yeah you wouldn't get it um, you wouldn't get it um yeah okay do we do we want to um 
we have to recap we have to recap. yeah yeah let's yeah. let's do let's do a recap for so that we can you know look look at all our picks specifically um recap i'll do mine first um i took keith ledger and julia styles and 10 things i hate about you i took frankie corio and paul mescal on after Sun. i took keanu reeves and patrick swayze and point break i took miles teller and jk simmons and whiplash and simon Pegg and nick frost and hot fuzz those are those are my five chemistry duos all right owen you want to uh yeah i uh at leo and kate in titanic um timothy and sersha and little women i went chris tucker and jackie chan in rush hour and then garfield and emma stone wait how, yeah, how many was that you missed one i think you missed a fifth one <laughs> uh who else oh ethan hawk yeah ethan yeah, hawk and julie Dell. I have all my like ideas, but they're not in like an, they're in, like a, they're in like a jumbled order. So, I... yeah. I took Ben Affleck and Matt Damon in A Good Will Hunting. I took Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci in Casino. I took George Clooney and Brad Pitt in Ocean's Eleven. I took Maggie Cheung and Tony Leung in uh, what's that movie called? Um, In the Mood for Love. In the mood for love. Thank you. God. Um, and I took... How many was that? I was four. Was that three? Four? Okay. And then I took uh, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and Eyes Wide Shut. Yes. Nice. Okay. A little, little bit messy, but we got there. Um, I... <laughs> I you Doug was like I'm gonna kill this and I was like I mean I knew I when I was looking through movies I was like there's no shot that this that that Doug doesn't take in the mood for love like when I was looking through yeah. I didn't even put it on my list because I was like I know Doug wants to take this so I'm just gonna stay away from I it put that, that's that, how good that was what I that's how good I am that's how nice I am because you're like I'm gonna kill you guys and I'm like no you know what I'm not even gonna put this movie on my list because I know <laughs> Doug wants it so yeah that was so, like first overall on my list I was yeah. like oh Maggie Chung and Tony Leung uh, yeah, so we went we went into this with two different mindsets, um, and and we'll see we'll see what the uh, we'll see what the people um, think think who the winner is. But yeah, let us let us know in the comments who you who you think won. Um, and we I can... think I think Kevin was the only person that only drafted white people out of the three of us. Okay, you didn't have to of go that, there. Uh, well, I'm just, no, it's not going anywhere. I'm just like, it's an observation. I'm just thinking about it. Like, I think you're the only person that that's, exclusively that's drafted crazy. white people. What, why is that crazy? It was just, crazy? I was just looking at the board and I was thinking about it. And it's like... Okay, I did have... I mean, Owen drafted Chris Tucker at least. Like, Okay, in all fairness, I, I had a long list. And, and I messaged you guys specifically, are we only doing five movies? Because I was We're sad that I only... Movie. I was sad that I only... Oh, shut up. <laughs> I was sad that I only got to pick five movies. So yeah, no. Um, like I, I have um, a pretty. I debated on movie. on Jeremy Irons and Jeremy Irons from Dead Ringers and like a little like chemistry oh. with himself, but I I, I, I ended up not doing that. I don't know if you could do that. I know that's why I didn't do it because I was like, <laughs> yeah. Well, I debated. I debated on pulling a, a wild card as we were recording and mm -hmm. and asking last minute if I could take a limited series and do normal people for Paul Mescal <laughs> instead. But I but I didn't no. even bring it up because I was like, yeah. you guys are gonna say no. So I, just, I was like, like I no. Can, I was like, what if they have the best country with themselves? But yeah. I decided to just pick someone else. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna pick Willem Dafoe and nobody in inside. <laughs> Well, that's different. Yeah. Like Jeremy Willem Irish Defoe, Willem Defoe, Defoe, and the and the penthouse. Is playing two characters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's talking to himself. That's an interesting. That's. that's I, an interesting I was thinking match. about doing Willem Defoe and Robert Pattinson in Lighthouse. Yeah, I I, 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 I was in the air. Oh, I didn't even I consider that it. one. I considered it. I also I considered. Well, I considered a bunch of people because there's like a bunch of people yeah. that were just like taken already that like have good chemistry in other movies uh, yeah. that were considered. Yeah, I have some other I have some other options that I, I have Michael do. Fassbender and Michael Fassbender and I have Jeremy, oh my Irons, and Jeremy Irons. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do I wanted to do Love and Basketball, but I didn't want to do like too romance heavy like i didn't want to just do like romance picks and since i took 10 things i hate about you i was like i'm not also i only picked like basketball. one romance i picked like four dude bros like <laughs> yeah well no that's what i'm saying i wanted like some variety i didn't just want it to be all romance so after i took that like, and i knew i was taking 10 things i hate about you so i was like i'm not also going to take love and basketball but oh well 
what oh, wow. what can you do that was fun though we should i didn't realize how fast that went we should have done more uh yeah maybe maybe next time we'll do 10 movies maybe instead next of five. Time. that was my bad that was my bad uh, <laughs> that's okay no because that's also, what i was saying I, I was like i was looking at all these movies and i was like damn i could do like 20 rounds worth of this like but also i didn't think owen was going to be able to do too many so that's why i was like we should only do five because <laughs> that's like 15 movies total you know yeah because like, Owen's only seen five movies so yeah. well no because then it's also it's, it's 15 movies total but then it's also like we're doing the elimination thing where it's like well, i didn't get someone... any of my guys taken so yeah, I mean, Saoirse Ronan's the only one that got taken from me, and that wasn't even in my, like, oh, top five. Sure. Like, that was, like, kind of a backup plan for me. Um, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the obvious ones were taken from me, but that's, like, I, I like, I, I was surprised that I didn't get Leo and Kate just because I was not expecting Owen to take that with his first pick. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I kind of figured that was... Well, I had to play the board, man. That was, like, yeah, the, I was like oh, this is the obvious one that someone's going to take. It is the obvious one, but I didn't think you were going to go for it. That's why I was surprised. That was my... I was like, I was I was like, like you can't take Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan first. Like, no one's going to take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was looking through movies, I was like, there's... I was trying to decipher between, like, what was an obvious pick and what was maybe like too obvious you know what i mean like obvious to the point where it's like boring and nobody's gonna take it and i was like titanic is like too obvious like like not too obvious like i was like somebody's drafting this like first round like there's no way titanic makes it out of like the first three picks um because there was other movies that i looked at and i was just like i don't think anybody's gonna bother taking these i thought emma stone and ryan gosling was like super obvious and then oh i also the last second that's I yeah, you're yeah. Small, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I I did have I did have Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling on my list, but it was for Crazy Stupid Love. Um, I think Ryan Gosling is just like kind of a king of like chemistry, chemistry with, with anybody. Yeah, because like, yeah. 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 even like I even was like considering like, oh, do I like go crazy and pick Ryan Gosling and Ana de Armas, <laughs> which is kind of yeah, silly. That's wild. That, that um, is pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, no, he does have good chemistry with a lot of people. Um, I his chemistry in the place beyond the pines is also really good because they got married after. Um, wow. Him, him and Eva Mendez got married after making that movie together. So that would have been a good yeah. pick for Ryan. Well, Gosling, you know, but... um, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, their chemistry is off the charts because they were married the whole time. <laughs> they got yeah. divorced. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think I think that went well. Okay, let's move on to our, our final little bit here and talk a little bit of talk a little bit of news before the episode ends news time. okay cool what Wait, why do you guys stop talking why was, do you stop talking no it was what? just it was You're just like, different it was just different than last week's i didn't know what to expect uh, yeah, i wasn't um, ready for it. i thought i thought you were gonna have a consistent like weekly <laughs> jingle for us and it, it seems yeah, like i would do that off the dome. I would do that if I remembered what I did last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to imitate it. So oh. Okay. Um where do we start? Let's start with we have I mean we had a lot of movies announced, but specifically I'm going to bring up four sequels that were announced and rather than talking about all of them, you guys could just tell me which one of these four sequels is the most exciting for you. Which one which one of these four you are most excited to go see. So we have the Pope's Exorcist sequel announced. We have <laughs> Final Destination 6. We have Final Destination 6. We have a Dodgeball sequel, and we have a sequel to Smile, which is... I the Pope's was Exorcist. Not Pope's, oh, Pope's Exorcist. Are you, are you kidding? That's crazy. Are you I'm kidding? not in agreement. We're the, we're the number one Pope's Exorcist pod in the world. Like, no, <laughs> like nobody I, likes that movie no, more than on, us. I'm, I'm easily picking Final Destination 6. I've never um, well, here's the thing. Final There's five other Final Destination movies, and they're all the same yeah. thing. <laughs> and I'd like to watch another one. Give, and we're sure, getting 200 Pope's Exorcist movies. And we're getting 200 think... Pope's Exorcist movies. <laughs> they're going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> no. I swear to God, they need to call the second one the Pope's Exorcists. Exorcists. <laughs> Oh, I see. What, uh, yeah, yeah. With the, oh, yeah. Um, with the dollar Roman sign. Numerals, do the man. do the with aliens. dollar <laughs> sign <laughs> is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Russell Crowe goes up like fucking James Cameron and wins the fucking dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, crazy. We really are the number one Pope's Exorcist podcast. Uh, no, we are. We I, it's crazy. It's I, like me and Owen saw that movie kind of like before a lot of people saw it, and it's like we were just higher on it than everyone else. People didn't see <laughs> yeah. the juice that we saw. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
In all oh. fairness, I'm. I think I was higher on the movie Smile than most people, so I'm actually yeah, kind of you're excited. Nasty. For that I haven't seen. I, Smile I, I no. I I, I, I like didn't Smile. watch that. It's probably movie, good. Though. I genuinely like Smile. Not to mention it, is like good. Smile was literally filmed like all around my neighborhood, so that was pretty cool. Oh, so you're biased. Um, yeah, I'm a little biased because I was. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was filmed there until there was a scene in Smile at a diner, and I was like, "Yo, this is literally the diner." <laughs> My house. It was the scene like in your house. <laughs> last night, oh my gosh, last night I watched fucking Downsizing, that Matt Damon movie where he goes small. Um, mm -hmm. that movie takes place in Omaha, but it's like it's like <laughs> shot in Omaha. Like for the first like the whole first act, I'm just like, that's crazy. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is they built a city just for this movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That yeah, small. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Next little piece of news. Um, I know you guys are super excited about this one. Joe Russo says he believes there will be movies made by AI in the next couple of years. Joe Russo is the devil, bro. <laughs> no, 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 How do no, we no. Feel? You got to say the whole Joe Russo quote where he's like, one day maybe you could put in your realistic avatar, plug that into starting a rom com with uh, Marilyn Monroe's avatar. And it's like, yeah. you're in a rom com with Marilyn Monroe. And it's like, kill yourself i specifically i specifically didn't include that quote because i didn't want to revisit it Bro, he's but i'm glad you have it memorized it's nuts yeah, fucked up that's a crazy thing to um, say yeah, and then no, did you see insane. did you see that snyder came out um like yesterday and he said some somewhere he said uh that ai cannot make art <laughs> and he was like yeah, it's important no, to have like, like an individual yeah, hot, hot take yeah, hot yeah, take. yeah real please. people need to make um, art. Rex Snyder, w. um yeah, yeah no, that's just an insane <laughs> that's just an insane thing to say and i and i believe like in the full like thing he says something like he expects it to happen in the next two years or something which is just like <laughs> i really fucking hope not um <laughs> I mean, they already made That's, Ghosted. So. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna make that joke, but I didn't want to piss Doug off. I, why would no, I piss one Ghosted then? <laughs> no, um, it's fine. Yeah, uh, it's just what a what a crazy idea. It's okay. One day um, Owen's gonna be able to watch Call Me by Your Name, but plug himself in <laughs> instead of Army. <laughs> <laughs> That's one awful. Day. One day. They they'd have good chemistry though. Owen, Owen and Timothy Chalamet. In the AI universe. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on. A um, little bit of TV <laughs> news. A little bit of TV news here. We got Black Mirror season six confirmed, and we have a, a lengthy, cares? lengthy Black Mirror cast. I care, okay? So we're going to talk about it. Um, we got Aaron Paul, Himesh Patel, Josh Hartnett, Michael Sarah, Rory Culkin, Salma Hayek, and Zazie Beetz, along with like a bunch of other people. Um, but I, I cut some off the list. I like um, all those dudes. I like all those. Yeah, those are my guys, actually. I, I know you guys have those are all close my guys. to zero excitement for this and probably are never going to watch it. Um, but I said we were going to mention it anyway because I like Black yeah. Mirror <laughs> and yeah. I'm excited. Sure. And yeah. I am so curious how Michael Sarah is going to be incorporated into a Black Mirror episode in a way probably that... Probably as an like, actor, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd no assume shit. that as well. No shit. I think he'll be Come acting on. in the series. Okay, um, now, you know what? Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about Black Mirror. <laughs> Because I can't do that. <laughs> um, I mean, listen, all the other Netflix Black Mirror episodes are so good. Uh, do you remember the one where they were playing video games and then they have sex in the video game? Or do you I remember the one so intended. And, or and do you I remember the like one where it. there's where there's a robot and then the robot like sing songs or whatever? Like do you remember that one? Are you purposefully pointing out the worst episodes of Black Mirror? <laughs> the, they're the most recent episodes from Netflix. <laughs> um, I mean, they're not, but yeah. I oh, you're talking about oh, you're talking about the Miley Cyrus episode. Yeah, the Miley Cyrus episode. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got confused. There's too many robot episodes. I thought you were talking about the robot dog that, <laughs> that kills people. No, 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 no. I was talking um, about the Miley Cyrus, which is also episode. which is also a bad episode. Um, both both robot episodes are bad. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Listen, I get that the last season was not good. Um, there's still four good seasons of Black Mirror, and I'm excited. Made I by different people. Could, yeah, I think that they could rebound. Get Joe After Russo one. direct and one of those. Oh my God, please! He'd no. fit right in, right? No, actually, they probably. I'm. Uh, no, please, I'm please. Make, no, we're I'm moving on make... to the next topic. We're, <laughs> we're moving on to the next topic. I can't. I can't do this anymore. The gray man was that bad. Next time, <laughs> next time, next time <laughs> I see a piece of news that pertains to me, I'm leaving it out of the episode. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're not. Yeah, we're, we're not talking about Kevin Oriented news, news for the rest of the podcast. 
Um, okay. Actually, I guess we are because the next thing is also something that I'm pretty excited for. But I think we're all maybe a little bit excited for this, hopefully. I don't know. We'll find um, out. We get uh, we got some some confirmations as to who is joining Paul Meskel in the Gladiator Two cast. Oh yeah, yeah. We have oh, Joseph yeah, yeah, Quinn, yeah. Barry Keegan, Denzel Washington, and two people returning: Connie Nielsen and Jaman Hansu. Um, so yeah, a lot of a lot of people, and we know uh, that the only like detail we know is that Joseph Quinn and Barry Keegan are playing like right. brothers who will also be the villains in the movie. Um, so we get two villains. Yeah, Barry's uh, on his villain I, shit. He needs a villain and everything. Yeah, I was gonna say I could see. I, I mean, I I assume Barry's gonna be great. I don't really like know how I feel about Joseph Quinn, but I did hear that they really liked him. So. Yeah, I mean that's the thing with Joseph <laughs> Quinn is like I I didn't watch Stranger Things, but it's like Ridley Scott uh, thinks he's good enough. I'll you know give him a shot, and it, it's like obviously like he can if he isn't like. The Stranger Things directors and whatever and whatever you want to say with that, under Ridley Scott, he the, can the get Doofus it. Brothers. Yeah, it's like it's like it's really hard to it's judge a guy crazy. which his biggest thing is Stranger. Why thing. are they at the strive? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I don't know if Ridley Scott likes him, I'll, I'll I'm ready for it. I, I'm excited for that movie. Even if I don't, it has to hurt to just be called the Doofus. Like it's not even like, like but it's not even that? it's not even that they're not even directing. It's Sean Levy who's directing. Yeah. So that's what? like that. Wait, Sean what? Levy directs Stranger Things. Oh, he does direct Stranger Things. I forgot about so that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I didn't even see. I didn't even watch the, the newest season or whatever. But um, it's like going from Sean. I thought Levy you were still talking Ridley about Scott. Gladiator. I was like, what the? Yeah, fuck? No, he's not. He's not directing Gladiator. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> yeah, Sean Levy's directing Gladiator 2. That's why um, Joseph Quinn joined this guy. Speaking of TV news, I don't know if you have this on the docket, uh, Kevin, but mm-hmm, we got a not. first look <laughs> at... <laughs> <laughs> we... Well, okay. Wow, well, right. Uh, um, but we got we got a first look no at... No TV um... news last. <laughs> it's just like I knew already that it wasn't on there. <laughs> No, um, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, I mean, we got a first look at uh, the new Avatar cartoon uh, oh. through Netflix. Yeah, oh, Avatar. not that Avatar. No, 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 was... no. Avatar: The Last Airbender series oh, on Netflix. Oh. We got a first look. Yeah, I actually didn't see that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I must have missed that. Uh, yeah. Um, there was there was another piece of TV news that I was like, I don't want to talk about this either. I was like, I saw the. Did you see that thing about the um how they're making like a live action animation hybrid about Christopher Robin, like Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh universe TV show? Um, what what? Which, is, which is like great, and it's gonna be like it's gonna be like some some drug induced like <laughs> rated R Christopher Robin type blue shit. skies. Um, no, yeah, blue sky. Which, what is going on over at blue on um, blue sky? Like, what do you what do you seeing over there dude no i swear this is real i wish i was kidding dude i don't know how much they're gonna use like they're just gonna milk winnie the pooh stuff until like yeah. there's nothing left winnie the pooh um, went to fucking public domain and they screwed him over yeah that's Man, that's crazy that's so lame um, why can't they do something cool with winnie the pooh like i don't even know yeah, don't yeah even like know. a horror movie that. where winnie the pooh is the killer <laughs> i'm gonna kill you <laughs> um no I'm trying to think um yeah oh, uh, wait do you guys know anything about the citadel speaking this since we're talking about tv shows the fucking prime show well the only thing Richard i about is it, they put a lot of fucking money into that shit and no one watched it yeah but it's like they've like committed like three spinoffs already right it's God, like damn. yeah the show like just started and like they already million. Committed, like, oh, the richard madden show yeah I richard madden show about this the citadel. Yeah, richard madden's over um i like richard madden but I like done. Madden. The 300 million budget. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like it's the most expensive show ever. Um, well, I imagine this isn't a. It's it's not a per episode budget though. That's probably for the whole season, which is like no, obviously. I, I ob- yeah. yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that's like what I can't do math. I don't know how many episodes there are either, so that doesn't happen. <laughs> He's doing math and numbers doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, there's only. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought there was only three episodes, but it's just that they're still coming out. I didn't realize the show was like current. I thought it was like a straight to streaming thing. I didn't know it was like a weekly. It, it says know, Amazon Prime it, does weekly. Six episodes, fifty million per. Okay, that's crazy though. That's actually so <laughs> yeah. crazy. 
Um, should we do like a Citadel? Like the most extensive show of all time. Citadel should we do episode? Like... No, no, no. Should we do like a Citadel like segment okay. every week where we talk about the new Citadel episode <laughs> oh, um, at the end of it? Like, oh, oh, out of, out of, all, the, out of all the great like prime is it the Russo television. Yeah. Is it what? They did the, it. Wait, Citadel's the no. Russo Brothers? That is the Citadel. Russo Brothers action packed prime video series Citadel has got everyone talking. Um, and apparently. They had who? To do who is everyone? <laughs> us, I guess. We're talking about it, so it's us, I guess, right? <laughs> who is that everyone that's talking about? <laughs> yeah, apparently I had to do massive reshoots. Uh, that's cool. For what? 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 It reportedly exceeded budget um, oh, due to reshoot. Yeah. <laughs> that's, so that's so crazy. That's so crazy. What is it with the Russo yeah. brothers and their ability to make the most uninteresting shit ever? Yeah. They wouldn't like, have exceeded the budget if they just uh, used the AI to make it. But Well, they probably used Judge GPT yes, to write the script. Yes. <laughs> yeah. no, no, Russo brothers, $300 million prime video spy series torn apart by critics. <laughs> Really? So people aren't fucking with it. That's great. No, that's the, that's the everyone who's talking about it. The critics. <laughs> yeah, the critics that like don't like it. Yeah, they, they screened it for them, and then nobody else watched it. It says saying the series falls short of even the rock bottom expectations for the directors. <laughs> this is nasty. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, what They're is in the trenches who over right there? Now, no, who? Why did they think over at Prime that it was a good it idea? Says, to just like give Critic the back to Citadel the Russo brothers. relies so heavily on rapid exposition and quick dialogue that instead of the ex expected sequence of flavorful courses, we are being fed the entire meal at once. Not good for um, That's, the Avengers. Yeah, none directors. of this. It's just getting worse and worse. The more you, <laughs> the more you talk Despite about. the negative reviews, the good news for Citadel fans is that it received an early season two renewal back in March. And nice. Yeah, Citadel, I got like. This, the, the entire humor. population of Nebraska is going crazy <laughs> right now. <laughs> what is Nebraska? What the fuck? I'm saying because there's like six fans. <laughs> it says Citadel works best as a James Bond rom com. Whatever uh, that means. <laughs> that's so bizarre. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Probably bro. Joe Russo wrote that one. <laughs> Free Richard Madden, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. That's crazy. No, because it's okay. like since when? So yeah, the the, the Russo <laughs> brothers they made fucking Avengers, right? But since when do are people? They're acting like they're the Doofus <laughs> brothers or something. Like the like they didn't make Stranger Things or some shit. Like they made they just made the Avengers, but they you didn't even make the Avengers. <laughs> what's their what is it? What's their name? Is it isn't it like the Doofus Duffer or brothers? <laughs> the Duffer brothers. <laughs> it's like the same thing. It's like the same thing. It's not the same thing. <laughs> Doofus is like that's like, yeah it's like what? okay okay anyway <laughs> do you have any other news Kevin um, um I don't <laughs> not anymore I know <laughs> what why what no I'm kidding um yeah uh no that's that's pretty much it the last thing I have was a, a pretty pretty tiny mention I guess which is not really even news because I think anybody that knows anything about this kind of already knew this but um just like confirmation that dune 2 is a more action-packed epic war movie compared to part one and i think anybody who knows like what is going to happen in part two already kind of knew that going into this so it's, not, it's barely news but um yeah right. i don't know i just wanted to mention it because i know we're all excited for dune 2 yeah we did you guys see the leaked posters um the leaked character posters from cinemacon Yes, uh, where, the, where Dune two, the Dune Two posters. I think so. Yeah, uh, where bald we saw ass, bald ass Austin awesome Butler. <laughs> yeah, bald Austin awesome Butler. Yeah, <laughs> shout out. Um, so he's gonna fire. rock. Yeah, he's I'm very excited rock. for this movie. Yeah, movie um, so did you see the Did you see the person who made the TikTok after they released the um after they released like the Austin Butler poster? Someone did a TikTok of him like saying lines from Dune in an Elvis point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh That's no, funny. I did see something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. so silly. <laughs> no, he said talk. something about Mick Jagger though was the influence for um the character, which is is, is funny. That's crazy. <laughs> That is crazy because his character is literally like a fucking ruthless killing machine, kind of. Yeah. Um, in so, the book. so Mick Jagger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah right well um sure. yeah that's that's the last piece of news I have. um okay nice nice little bit of news there i guess we can um we can wrap up and call it an episode if we don't have anything else to talk about i think next um, week we're having a special episode we are yeah which i will yeah i'll we'll, we'll we'll explain that now um but also you know let us let us know most importantly who won the draft because that's that's what we really need to know yeah let me know um, and and i guess you could let us know how you <laughs> felt about ghosted in well. um and it's yeah really follow, follow us on twitter and join us next week for episode 19 we're gonna be yeah like doug said switching it up a little bit and doing an episode on 1979's apocalypse now and the documentary that was made about it hearts of darkness a filmmaker's apocalypse uh so we'll see you next week